Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at sales, coupons, and gift cards. All three can be found from our dashboard under engagement. We see that some people try to use gift cards as coupons and the other way around. So in this tutorial, I hope to make clear what the difference is and also when it makes sense to use what. In case you are only interested in a specific topic, there are chapters in the time bar and also the description from our dashboard under engagement, let's go to sales and then create your first sale. So let's first of all give the sale a name. As it says, this is not shown to the customer. For example, holiday sale. We then have to choose what this sale applies to. So packages, categories, or everything. We also have a variable option. If you have a lot of different options, you can also click on select all on the right. Optionally, we can also set a customer requirement. So they either have to spend a specific amount for the sale to kick in, or they have to purchase a specific package. We can then select what package from our packages. And as you can see, we can either select multiple or again, select all. We set the discount type. So either a percentage or a amount. Optionally, you can also set none. I'm going to say percentage and I'm going to say 10% off. We can also set a minimum basket value. So this is not how much the customer has spent. This is the actual current basket value. We can set a start date and a expiry date. If you click on this, you get a calendar where you can select the date. Same for the expiry date. We can also add game server commands. So if this sale is triggered, we can also make extra things happen. And these are the same options as you have when creating a package. For example, saying thank you for using the sale or something like that. So let's click on create. And now you can see that the sale is here. It is active. If we want to, we can also edit the sale or delete it from the list. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove the required packages and then click on update. And as you can see, when viewing the package, there is now a discount showing us the old price and the current price because the holiday sale is active. Running strategic and well thought out sales can really increase revenue. Under engagement, let's go to coupons and then create your first coupon. When creating a coupon, we have a little bit more options, but you will see that some of the options are exactly the same as with sales. We first of all need to give the coupon a code this needs to be a unique code for our web store. For example, my coupon one. You can also click on generate code and it will automatically generate a code for you. We then select what this coupon applies to. So either packages, categories, or everything. I'm going to say packages. For this example, I'm going to select the bronze VIP package. We have to select the discount type. We can choose percentage or a specific amount. In my case, I'm going to say percentage and I'm going to give 10% off. We can set a start date and a expiry date. If we click on this, we get a calendar where we can set the date we want. Optionally, also the time. By default, the expiry date is set to never. So you have to manually expire this coupon. You can also uncheck this and again, click on it to set a exact date. We can choose what baskets we want to allow this coupon on. Either one of purchases, subscription purchases, or both. We can set a redeem limit for this coupon. By default, this is set to unlimited. So customers can use this coupon unlimited times. You could, for example, say 10 or make it a single use coupon. But of course, configure this and choose a number that fits your store and situation. So for this example, I'm going to say 10. So this code can only be used 10 times. I am going to set a limit of one coupon per customer. We can then choose how and when the coupon gets applied. So either apply it to each individual package that qualifies or apply it to the basket total before sales or the basket total after sales. I will leave this default, so the individual packages. Optionally, we can also lock this coupon to a specific username. So by filling in Tabex Academy, I can only use this coupon while logged into my Tabex store on that account. This also depends on what kind of game or platform you're running. For this demonstration, I will leave this empty. So what we now created is a coupon that 10 people can use and the coupon gives a 10% discount for our bronze VIP. We could then use this coupon and for example, post it on our Discord or one of our community boards. And the first 10 people that use that code will then get that discount. And with the limit, we also made sure that the customer can only use one coupon. Optionally, we can also leave a note. You can of course also leave this empty. Let's then click on create. Here we can now see a list of our coupons. We can click on this to easily copy the code. We can also delete it or edit it and we'll update the expiry date. This way we can manually expire the coupon. So let's click on clone. We can then just generate a new code. 
update the settings. So I want to say only five of these coupons are available. Instead of bronze, I'm going to say silver VIP. I will leave everything else the same. So this is five customers, 10% off. And we should maybe add that this is for silver VIP. So let's click on create. And then let's do another clone. Let's generate a new code. Let's change the redeem limit to one. And I changed the package to be the gold package and everything else I left the same. And I also updated the note again. So let's click on create. You can see we fairly quickly created these three different kind of coupons for different packages and also slightly different settings. If you have a lot of different coupons, you can change what you see in this result and also search for specific coupons. On the coupons page in the top right, we also have a settings button. And here we can set a maximum coupons per basket. If you want to, you can change that over here. So let's copy this just by simply clicking on it. From our dashboard, let's view the web store. And then when checking out, you can see that we can redeem our coupon by pasting the code and clicking on redeem. You can see that this gets applied to our basket. You can see how easy it is to set up coupons. You can then share those with your community and hopefully increase sales. This is also where they fill in the number to their gift card. Let's quickly take a look at how to set up a gift card to hopefully take away the confusion between gift cards and coupons. From our dashboard under engagement, let's go to gift cards and then create your first gift card. Here we can set the value of the card. So let's say $20. We can also give it a note. So gift card demonstration or demo. We can set a expiry date. In my case, I'm going to say end of the year. And optionally, if we need multiple, we can directly from here create multiple gift cards. I'm going to leave this at one. So let's click on create. This will immediately give us a card number. It shows us the starting balance, the remaining balance, the current status, and also the creation and expiry date. On the right, we have the usage. It's currently not used. And at the bottom, we have our note showing that this is our gift card demonstration. Let's copy our card number. Let's go back to the checkout and refresh this. Paste our gift card number and click on redeem. You can see that this updates our balance left and this is now zero. I will agree and then let's complete this payment. Do I wanna add a large? No, okay, let's complete the order for now. So this is completed. Let's return to our store. We can now see a entry in our usage history showing the date, how much has been used and we can also view that transaction. And as you can see, this also updated our remaining balance. In the top right, we can also avoid this gift card, meaning that it cannot be used anymore. So let's click on void. Gift card has been voided successfully. And now if we go back to our gift cards, you can see that this is now void. Again, we can hide the inactive card here or show inactive depending on what you're looking for. Or you can also look up specific gift cards. When going to web store and sidebar, we can add the gift card balance module to our sidebar. And this allows customers to check their gift card balance. And this is highly recommended if you're selling or using gift cards. Here customers can fill in their card number and check the current balance of their gift card. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, please leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store. If you're not done watching yet, you can click here on the right for our latest release or on the left for something that we think suits you best. If you think I want even more, of course, feel free to subscribe. This way you will be notified when we release new content every Friday. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.